So now we've moved into the uh, corn crib. This was actually a later addition to this farm. Uh, it's not quite the 1915, I believe it's about 1940s, 1950s, but it, it's still a really cool old structure. Um, back before combines were invented, they were harvesting corn by hand. Um, so you're, you're taking it off the cow by, or taking it off the stock by, uh, by the ear, um, putting it in the barn, uh, letting it dry in the barn, and then you're gonna shell it later for the animals that are gonna eat it. Um, if you notice, if you look to the south, or yeah, to the south here, you'll notice um, a lot of, there's a lot of gaps in between. There's about inch gaps in between all those pieces of wood. And the same thing um, behind me here, um, but, uh, a little bit. But what that is, is that's actually, so airflow can get in here. So, because corn, um, you want it to be able to dry, so you want the wind to be able to get in there, um, dry that corn out, that way it doesn't rot or anything like that. Um, after you've got it in here, uh, in the fall, one thing that you, one of the things that you're probably going to do through the winter time, or have the kids doing all throughout the winter time, is shelling corn. And that's what actually this machine right in front of me is. Um, so you take the ear corn out of the barn or out of the corn crib. You're going to turn this, get this going, and you're going to put the speed, and you're going to put the corn corn cob into there. As it as it turns, uh, the corns, uh, the shelled corn is going to turn to the bottom. The uh, the cob's going to come out this end. And you're gonna have shell corn. It's gonna be easier to feed to your uh, livestock. Uh, the corn crib or the corn cobs too. Um, don't be mistaken; those are definitely used too. Uh, what they're gonna use with those is in your wood-fired stoves um, that are gonna be in most of your farmhouses at this time. They're going to um, they're going to um, use those in the stoves. So it's gonna cook, um, help to get your uh, get your stove started. And it's also gonna help to get your fire burning really nice and hot. A lot of times, I like to compare um, putting corn stock corn cobs into your stove like um, using a microwave because it's going to get your stuff hot really fast really quick so that's going to warm your house up really nice in the winter time when it's uh, 10 below zero outside so uh, all the corn was all or most parts of the corn were used so um, if you'll notice too uh, we have a corn picker behind me we have some knives and they're going to let the pig um, hang out um, so it can dry um, and get all the fluids out so that way you can cut it up later um, and dry it or cure it or pack with lard, however you're going to preserve that food.